Hello reformers and welcome back to Space Hulk Deathwing. Now when we left off we were just exploring the Space Hulk and we have just activated a generator of sorts and hopefully this will mean that we'll be able to secure the bridgehead next. Now as you can see we're actually not doing too badly. Both of my comrades have about half HP so we're gonna probably need to heal them soon. But other than that we're gonna head on and we're going to see if we can actually get to the bridgehead without dying. Now, I have taken a little bit of damage, unfortunately. I did get meleeed. Now, I must mention that this game has a very, very weird auto-saving system. Now, the auto-saving system in particular only saves at very, very specific points. And usually, they are very far apart. And that's just a bit of a warning to you because... It is sometimes extremely difficult to get from point A to point B without dying, and it just so happens that point A is Paris and point B is Pluto, for example. So, <laughs> yeah, just letting you know about that anyway. And I'm actually looking forward to trying out some of our Psycho abilities, so I'm going to try and do that. Let's open that up and get a bit of a fright from the drones that are just flying in mid-air there. That's fantastic. And now we're, of course, going to be attacked. Let's take them down. Okay, well, never never mind then. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, other than the obvious autosave problem, there isn't actually anything to say about it, apart from the fact that there is a slight optimization issue. I, myself, am having sub-60 FPS, and if you don't mind about that, then obviously that's not a problem, but... Obviously, considering this is a, 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 an FPS, a fast-paced FPS at that, kind of, you would really rather not have sub-60. I mean, sometimes I get 60, but when there's enemies on the screen, yeah, that doesn't usually happen now. There's a lot of, a lot of discussion surrounding the optimization, and that's a little bit of a shame, but I thoroughly enjoyed this developer's previous game, or one of their previous games, which was I... Divine Cybermancy, and I know a lot of people actually didn't like that either, but I very much liked it because it had almost a perpetual circle of gameplay, so whenever you would complete it, it would start you with a slightly different set of memories, but it would then sort of unveil some more of the big overall story arc, and it was kind of almost based upon Dante's Inferno slightly, so you can kind of imagine that it was quite complicated to understand, but in general, it was an open-world RPG, and it was actually really fun to play. And I was very much hoping that this would be a... not a similar thing, but I, I had hoped that they had advanced along their game-developing skills, and they've actually done really well so far. Oh, I need to heal that guy. Okay, so let's just defend here real quick, and I'm going to defend... Hopefully that guy and make sure that he gets a little bit of healing. Oh no. Okay, let's get in there. Let's get in there and melee them to death. Yes. Come on. Take him down. Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, so they all dead? They all dead? Okay, I think so. So let's go and heal this guy. There we go. And let's heal this guy. Oh, that's me. Oh, I didn't want him to heal me. Let's heal that guy instead. Come on. Yep, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Phew. Okay, so I've healed both of them, so that's good. Now, I'm almost dead as well, so I should probably heal myself too. There we go. Thank you very much. And now we're back to full HP, so that's that's okay. Now, we're going to continue on to the bridgehead. Alright, well, we're almost there. As you can see, we're just 50 clicks, I guess, 50 clicks away or something along those lines, and we're going to be able to get off and get into the bridgehead, I suppose, but yeah, this is uh, this is probably going to be a survival type thing, so we're going to wait a little bit of time and try and defend against the overwhelming Xenos threat. Opposition. Glory to the Emperor. Glory to the Lion. Okay, so hold position. So I'm going to run up here instead. I don't really want to stay down there. I feel like going up here is probably a better idea. Do I have to defend down there? I actually don't know. I think they're going to come up and kill us, surely. 
Are they going to come up and kill us instead of attack the objective, whatever it may be? Well, who, whatever is going to happen. Oh, look at that. They're, they're jumping down there. Oh, my. Okay. Well, they're not, they're not actually jumping down there. They're actually just running down because they are amazing when it comes to acrobatics. I'm going to just stand here, I think. I'm going to allow my, my companions to take the most of the damage. Obviously. So is that is that okay? Are we are we doing are we doing okay? It seems it seems we're doing fine. Yeah, uh, come on, take that. Yes, the sword. No, they're not overwhelming us. We're we're fine. We're fine. Just relax, please. Thank you very much. Oh no. Uh, I don't know who that guy is. I think it's that one. Heal him. Yes, there we go. We healed him. Oh, that was just in time. Very, very close. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to survive this. Maybe. Wow, this is this is very difficult. This is very, very difficult. I'm playing on normal, by the way. And this is this is the difficulty, so yeah. Oh yes, I've also heard that the single player is extremely shall we say difficult, and that's what I was getting at here. It is very, very difficult to complete a level by playing with the AI, because the AI itself is actually kind of... I mean, it's not bad, but it's also not good. And when you're playing with friends or just random people, in actual fact, they're going to be better than the AI in most respects. So obviously you're not going to have, you know, an AI just kind of standing there and not shooting while they get hit and things like that and this is exactly what this guy is doing unfortunately so I'm going to have to heal him again there we go but he is one of our greatest damage dealers I suppose I mean look at that he has a chain gun as far as I'm aware he has a chain gun so it's pretty powerful I would say and I think that's kind of useful so I'm going to try and just keep him alive as much as I can I'm going to try and kill that as well there we go now these guys are all going to come up here. Hopefully they'll be cut down immediately. Oh, did, it, did I need to? No, I didn't even need to hit that. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so over half. Over halfway so far. That's not too bad, I suppose. Okay, so where are they going to come next? Ah, there they are. Ah, well, I missed that, of course. Oh, they're coming from behind us as well. Look at that. So now our AI friend here is just standing there, not really doing much, and that's exactly the problem, I think. The AI sometimes does not attack when you need them to very much. So, yes. If you do have some friends that you can play with, highly recommend playing with them. Obviously, the optimization issues are not going to help things, you know, and some people are even experiencing crashes and stuff, and that's, that's pretty bad in itself, but... I'm I, I'm not experiencing any of that. I've, I think I've only had one crash so far, and other than that, nothing much. But the autosave system, as I say, is kind of bad. So, yeah. Otherwise, I think I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be fine. We just have to hold out a little bit more, and then maybe maybe we'll be able to move on from here. Come on, take them down, take them down. Oh my, wow, there's so many. There is just so many. Okay, well, I, I think this is a little bit of a better position to stand in than the previous one that we were going to take, so I think that's kind of nice, but I don't know. I think, in general, we're just going to have a really difficult time here. Come on, get, get out the sword. Get out the sword. Yes, come on, spam it. Slam it everywhere and slash and all kinds of amazing blood and gore and everything happening there. Well, yes, there we are. I think I think that's probably it. There's probably going to be one more wave. And we do have one of our fellows almost dead. I probably should heal him as well. There we are. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Kill them all. Kill them all. Yes. There we are. Phew. Okay. So I think I think that might actually be it. And if it is, then we're in a really, really good position here. I think so. No one else? Oh, no, there are a couple more. Oh, there they come. Kill them. Kill them when they come up the ladder. Or, or it's technically not a ladder, actually. Is it a ladder? I actually don't know. Seeing as we're Terminator, we're in Terminator armor, 
we can't actually use the ladders, of course. This is only the start. Commence the hunt for the fallen. Ah, there we go. Objective complete. That's fantastic. So, oh, there we go. So now we now have an assault cannon. And as you can see, we didn't really... Well, we kind of did okay. Our accuracy was actually not that bad. I used no psi attacks whatsoever. And we killed 176 gene stealers. Honor kills, melee kills, headshots, and psychic kills. Okay, so basically using our regular weapon is not a good way to gain honor kills. Well, that's that's kind of a shame, I suppose. Yeah, as you can see, the more efficient you are, the more further points you will earn. Restart your mission if you want to improve your stats. No, I'm fine with that. Thank you very much. And this is the first time we get a small look at the points. And as you can see here, it actually says all unspent points will be lost forever. And I'm actually kind of a bit surprised that they went that much really really hardcore with it but okay that's fine okay so let's have a look here your allies can now use a plasma cannon effectively your covering tactics and strategies are such that your squad mates position themselves to minimize the damage received plus 10 percent armor okay what else is here hacking time armor the psyker focuses their powers to create an inferno that consumes his en uh, enemies i was going to say energies for a second Okay, the, the librarian teleport themselves into their enemy, making them explode. Okay, I don't think I really need to spec into Psychic at all. I think I should probably just spec into this and give 10%. Yeah, I think that's I think that's fine. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Okay, so yes, Barakiel can now equip the Plasma Cannon. We located the ancient Dark Angel ship in the heart of the Space Hulk. After finding out that Squad Gideon had been slain, we fought a horde of Xenos as we conducted investigatory missions to uncover this enigmatic vessel from our dark and distant past. The Deathwing moved to secure entry into the old ship while we overcame the energy and psychic defenses created by the Gene Stealers. Hard fought was the battle, but the bridgehead had been established and progress to our objectives continued. We are the Emperor's Blade. Oh, we're the Emperor's Blade. Oh, yes, we're the Emperor's Blade, but also we're kind of bad at surviving for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but yes, it seems like we die extremely easily. So let's see, where are we now? We have encountered Gene Stealer hybrids armed with ranged weaponry. They're launching counterattacks against the perimeter, threatening the integrity of the landing zone on the Alethros. Looking at our scan data, the Tech Marines have advised that the hybrids may be able to sever the ship where our squads are currently located, to propel it into the gravity well of the nearby planet. To prevent this, we must disable the propulsion system in this sector. If the enemy succeed, we will be forced to withdraw and return in another costly breaching assault. Precious time and lives will be wasted. The Emperor abhors failure. I see. Well, I'm not too happy with that. I don't really want to restart. But anyway, as you can see, this is where the Psygate will take you. And this is where, obviously, you have your allies and very creepy looking guys here, and you can change your weapons. And of course, we've unlocked the Assault Cannon now, so it might be an idea to equip that, as you can see. So, yes, we also have the Power Fist, so we have to use the Power Fist if we use the Assault Cannon. I actually really like the Storm Bolter. But I'm going to try the Assault Cannon out. It, the magazine size is insane. It actually has 400 magazine size. And doesn't really have... Let's have a look. Reliability is bad. Recoil is pretty bad. Its accuracy is awful. The fire rate is amazing and the damage is okay. So I guess we're just going to go with that. Why not? Let's let's try it out, shall we? But uh, I'm not... I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure whether it's going to be very good for us. But... Well, I guess we have a power fist if things go bad. So let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, oh this is this is very reminiscent of other games. Oh, yes. Very much. Okay, so there's the power fist. Arr, punch. Punch. Yes, take that. Okay, so let's have a look. Quickly destroy the Archaeotech engine. Nothing can be done hastily and prudently, not Archaeotech. So answers an apothecary. 
Okay, so we have eight heals once again, and we have three Psygates. Now, I have figured out how to gain more Psygates. You have to find relics, and if you improve your willpower, then you will eventually gain another Psygate charge. So you'll be able to restore your HP and, you know, change your loadout and things like that. So that's pretty nice. Otherwise, I actually... Are we going to head this way? I think so. Oh! Well, I am terribly sorry if anyone is epileptic, because that probably just had a very bad effect on you, so I'm very, very sorry about that. It's not my problem, though, really. I mean, I can't really do anything about it, because that's the game. So, oh, and we have a weapon jam. That's fantastic. Okay, so apparently the weapon that I'm currently using can get jammed, so that's, that's pretty bad. But as you can see, I fired off, I don't know, 300 and something bullets without a jam, so I suppose that's reasonable. But, as you can see, these guys actually now have rocket launchers and things like that, and I'm not very pleased about having those fired at us. So, yes, we're going to have to be a little bit careful about it, I suppose, but I think for now we're okay. Kill them! Kill them all! Yeah, I feel like Rambo. I feel like Rambo with this gun, gotta say. I feel like Rambo. Okay, so if I can just head down here, that would be nice. Okay, we're gonna have a couple... Oh, hello. Yeah, you don't want to run into a minigun, thank you very much. Well, I... Is it is it going better? Is it going better with this weapon? I think it might be. It might be going better with this weapon. I mean, we haven't really taken much damage, but obviously that's kind of a given, isn't it? Because... I mean, the assault cannon is insane, so... Oh, it's, it's going it's going reasonably well. I think the flash of the minigun, or chain gun in this case, definitely needs a little bit of refining when you're not shooting with the scope, because even I'm getting a little bit of an eye strain just from that, so... I don't know, I mean... Maybe it's... Oh no! Am, am I gonna... Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? Let me let me just heal myself, please. Thank you. Okay. So I, I'm actually just gonna move. I'm just gonna move across here. Let's punch him. Yeah, take that. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I really should feel like much more of a juggernaut, in my opinion, because right now we're not really feeling like that, are we? Oh, 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 oh. Yep, uh, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Am I dead? Yep, I'm dead. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's another little bit of a small look at Space Hulk, Deathwing, and that was a turret. What I needed to do was hack that turret and disable it, or use it to destroy some of the things. Yeah, some of the enemies. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.